Oh, this is some lovely acoustic guitar to start us off. Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to the Cassette Beasts demo. It's made by the people that made The Inception of Lena, Lena? Uh, and published by my buddies over at Raw Fury. It is a monster collection RPG, where you have uh, monsters that you can actually fuse together. I think with your friends? I'm not quite sure how it works. It might even have co-op, which is interesting. I'm curious how that works. I'm gonna turn off that. AI smartness, level scaling, interesting. The level NPCs and bosses scale up partway towards you. Interesting. Impenetrable grind. <laughs> Boring. Easier, easy recommended. That's cool. So enemies scale down towards you a little bit. Impenetrable grind though, I love that. AI smartness. Literally Skynet. Dumb dumber dumber. -er. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Uh no. How do I apply and save? Settings saved. I don't need any of those other ones, but I always like looking at settings for like new indie games because they like to sneak in stuff like that. Now rides the night through the realm into the wilderness of We're All, and the rest is lost to the ether. Let's get my mouse out of here. Oh sweet, what is our name? Ham Sna Snadwick. Well, I'll deal with it. They, them, he, him. I don't know. They, them. Ham Snadwick is not a cre not a person. S Ham Snad Snadwick is a creature. Favorite color. Interesting. What's our favorite color? Hey, yeah, that's a good one. What about skin color? Can I be blue? Damn. Sharp fringe. I like the hair up with the uh, the bandana. Wow, there's actually a lot of these. I kind of like lopsided, actually. That's not bad. Like, the bandana kind of works. Let's do that. And hair color. What do we got? Some options. Yeah, see, I was hoping for like a more electric pink than that. That's not bad. Fall is their favorite color. Otherwise, we could do green. You know, I've done green before. Oh, accessory color. Hell yeah. Uh, I feel like yellow works pretty dang well. Red kind of works. Yeah, let's go for that yellow. Or like the orange. I don't know. Face is plain. Glasses. Eyeshadow. Beard. Beard too. Grumpy. Vi visor. Face mask. Half face paint. Beard with glasses? Yes. And what is our eye color? Does it ever matter? Red eyes. Face accessory color. Oh, hell yeah. I kind of liked the orange that we went by. Why don't we, uh, why don't we match? No, 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 no. Let's not match. Okay. And you know what? Yeah, none of it matters. Eh, let's go they them. Why not? The concept of gender is artificial anyway. Oh, let's get my mouse out of here. I'm sure I'm going to upset a couple of people with that, but you know what? They're upset about everything anyway. They're going to be upset that I exist and talk about things and feelings. Oh, you can jump? Oh. Okay, I should probably follow the path here. I really like this uh, visual style. It's 3D. I, obviously, a lot of the stuff is 2D, but it very much looks kind of like... Um... Okay, we got some wood. Oh boy, some of these sound effects need to die. How do I get to my menu? Uh, we cannot. I have no means of getting to the menu. Well, I'm just going to have to balance some things out. I wonder what I'm supposed to do with the wood then. Over here, I guess. Hey! Hey, stranger, don't make any sudden moves. Traffic crabs don't tink kindly to strangers. Or anyone, for that matter. Here, take this. Okay, quick question. What's your aesthetic? Spooky? Sweet. Spooky. It's October. Yeah. yeah, I can see that. In that case, take this. Ban sheep. 
eerie moans of the wild banshee at night have led many to believe that they are restless undead spirits. But this is untrue. They're much, very much alive. They just have a bit of a whine. Who doesn't? Biotube. Raise this monster. It's taped to five stars to unlock more information. Habitat unknown. Bootlegs. And stats. Interesting. All right, now just pop that into your cassette player. Put on the headphones and press play. <laughs> this might get a little weird, but follow my lead. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Your turn. Don't be shy. Oh, you turn into them? Just breathe. You'll adjust in a moment. Okay, this what? is really cool. Right, let's give them hell. So that, that's why this has potentially co-op. Ooh! So we can switch item flea record. Interesting. Record? Blank tapes. Okay, so that's probably for catch. Who do we have? Smack and sheer luck, but I can't do that. So we're gonna smack. Spit dodge, call for health. Temporary ally. Let's try that. Oh, never mind. It's dead. Alright, and Bansheep levels up a little bit. Battering Ram. Uh, let's see. Battering Ram is equipped. Hits one target, lowers their accuracy. We also got some plastic. Cool. Oh, this is awesome. You handled yourself pretty well there. Uh, what's I'm your name? Kaylee. I'm Kaylee. Nice to make your acquaintance, Ham Snadwick. Anyway, we should probably get you warmed up before you freeze to death in your pajamas. I want to have the most offensively 80s outfit if I can possibly grab one. But these people just used to folks just washing up on the shore. What do you think? Pretty quaint, right? Where am I? Welcome to Harbor Town. <laughs> Your new home. My new home? Uh, right. Yeah, sorry. I'm not good at this part. I don't know how best to break the news. You're stuck here. We all are. Huh. Oh, we just actually pass out. Wonderful. Ah, oh, wonderful. You're awake. Kaylee gave me quite a fright when she came knocking at my door. You got me scared for a moment, Hem Snandwick. It's music. Huh. Wow, this is one hell of a glow up. I... Lena's, in, Lena's Inception was kind of a weird, neat game uh, that I didn't get too far in, but this is, like, so much, so much better. I don't think it's anything serious. Transforming for the first time is quite a shock to the psyche. Anyway, Harbortown happened to have a spare home available to you. So, this is your place now. What? Um, Earth? Kaylee, you haven't told Sorry. them? Sorry, I should have. Ha should have. Not the info dump on you, but you're on an island called New Weral. It's not strictly on Earth, at least... That's what we think. Is there a way back home? I'm afraid not. I'm so sorry. Castaways have been trying to get back to their worlds for a century and none have succeeded. <laughs> but you'll be okay. There's a... The music's back. There's community in Harbor Town, And we help each other out. It's not a bad life. A and it's safe. Well, apart from the monsters. Like the one we fought yeah. before? Yeah. I'm actually going on a patrol soon. If you'd like to join me, meet me by the gate. It's just over by the just over the bridge we crossed to come into town. In the meantime, feel free to say hi to your new neighbors. I'm pretty sure the world's are, word's already gotten around that there's a new uh... face in town. We also fetched some clothes for you, though they might be a bit out of fashion for your era, but it's all I have. My era? Sorry, sorry, I'm info dumping. I'll catch you up. I'll catch you soon, right? We can talk more then if you'd like. My clinic is nearby. If you need to check up, feel free to visit. This all must be a lot to take in, but we all went through the same thing once. Okay, I'm really digging this. Okay, the world we live in. Speak to Kaylee. Cool. We have a handbook. And we have this. Clothes? Please tell me. Okay. So we have sweater, t-shirt, jacket. Jacket one, jacket two. Vintage dress, vest. Jacket three. Apron. Vest jacket, poncho. Ooh. I'm kind of digging the poncho. Let's go red. With like yellow trim. Bottom is trousers, shorts, skirt. And... Okay. Shall I just be the most color coordinated man? Where's my yellows? Eh. Let's just do dark red. Okay, cool. Apply and save changes. Sick. <laughs> I look amazing. What do we have in here? It's a letterbox. How strange that it's indoors where nobody can deliver letters. Check it anyway. This will connect to the internet. Yes? 
Other box is empty. There's a keypad at the back though. Enter a code. So that's probably how you do multiplayer, maybe. Ooh. I didn't quite know this game was gonna have multiplayer. I, I guess I saw it in the menu, but what? Oh. <laughs> I am ungovernable. You know what I miss? Sports. Why can't Harbortown start a football team? Well, I suppose there'd be no one to play against. I don't think the giant crabs on the beach have a competitive spirit. Don't you have enough people? Uh, I guess maybe not. Oh, look at this sundial! That's a really clever way of handling a sundial. Hey. Are you new here on the island? The look on your face gives it away. Okay, I don't know if there's reason to talk to anybody else here. There probably is. I think I move faster when I'm jumping. Maybe not. Oh, and I can jump into the water. Oh, that's what happens. Yeah, let's go join her for some stuff. I can do more things, but honestly, I'm just going to focus on objectives rather than wandering hey. too much. Hey, can Ham Snadwick, are you feeling a bit, bit, little better? You know, you held your own last time we fought together, so, well, I've been given an errand and need a helping hand. Do you think you'll be able to help me out? Sure. Glad to hear you're up for the task. Do you see that path there? Oh. There's some kind of quake or monster activity last night. You can see the cracks in the ground. We're going to check the path and make sure it's safe for crossing. Hmm. Here, take the key to the gate. Okay, got the gate key. I love the 3D look. Like, that's super nice. Ooh. Uh. Right, there's some basics I gotta show you first. Hope you're ready to turn into a monster again. Definitely. <laughs> You'll adjust in no time. It's like riding a bike. Except, you know, if the bike transformed into a moody, floaty sheep. And also, you're the bike. Hmm. See that creep with the boots? It's a spring heel. And it's, gotta get, it's gonna get aggressive with you if you get any closer. So you're gonna get closer, of course. Oh, it's so cute! Okay, pay attention to the orange squares. There your action points are AP for short. Most moves require you to spend some AP. None of AP mo a move costs is shown next to its name. If you don't have enough AP for a move, you won't be able to use it this turn. Each party member gets two AP each turn and an extra one if they land a type advantage to attack. You can also plan ahead and save AP for your most powerful attacks by using weaker low AP moves. So, uh, smack costs nothing. But we can also maybe do a battering ram, except for we we can't at the moment. And we do have call for help, but I think we're just going to spit at him. You're taking a bit of a beating, but your monster form can take it. The green bar represents your monster form's health, and the red is yours. If a form loses all of its health in a fight, its tape will break and you need repairing. Not only that, but any extra damage from the attack that broke it will apply to your health, the red bar. If both of us lose all of our health, then we'll have to retreat back to Harbor Town. Got that? Yep. Right. Let's crack on. Boop. Okay, this one's actually a bit tougher. Not too much, though. Battering Ram. Call for help. Okay. And we get our HP back, it looks like. Sonic Boom. Equipped power ranged attack hits the whole team. Ooh. That's fun. Yeah. Nice work. Ah, that elevator should be functioning. There will be a switch around here to turn it back on. Can I go up or is it that switch up there? Or is it uh-huh. Hey. Like I said, I really like the 3D here. Great, let's head up, shall we? I'll let you take the lead for any more fights, but don't worry, I'll be sticking with you from here on out. I'm like Kaylee is now your partner. And Serenade. Serenades are particularly loud creatures and can amplify their own singing voices through their microphone, tails, and wings. They don't seem to have much awareness as to whether or not their singing is too loud for those around them. Okay, can't see the rest. Continue on. I... Oh! Damage does... Uh, so we are actually going to have to worry about healing. Hey! Oh. Do you need a break, Ham Snandwick? We can rest here if you like. These bonfire pits mark areas where you're safe to set up camp. It gives you a chance to repair your tapes and heal up. Camp here? Sure. I don't know if we need to worry about time. Oh, rest, party, tape storage, inventory. Party. Okay, so in that case, not quite ready yet. I don't know how plentiful wood is. Oh. 
The crabs are just gone. But yeah, I can take a smidge more damage before we need to rest, I think. I mean, I do have a hundred wood, but... I'm here to fight. Get some levels. You know. Smack. Now, can we... No, Sonic Boom is too expensive. Are the traffic crabs? Okay, they are tougher. I like the music. Traffic jam? Oh, speed down. On both of us. On all... All but them, actually. Well. Sonic Boom? And we missed. I kind of figured. Oh, there they go. And Banshee levels up. Oh, that's interesting. So you get... Uh, so you have your own level, but then you have your monster level. Stars? I don't know. I'm just gonna wander. But yeah, these graphics very much look like you could have put this on the N64 or something, but... Okay, cannot go actually in there at all. Uh, yeah, looks like it could have been on the N64, but with like, obviously the extra modern lighting and stuff looks really nice. I don't know. So sharpen, raises the user's melee attack. Do we, was that worth it? No. No, I'll probably just go for the smack and the spit. And then we'll just do the shout again and that'll be enough. I'm also just really jamming with his music. It's so good. Hey, uh, this is um, this is something I'll talk about in the future. I think it's something I'd like to do a, a, some kind of video essay on. But the idea of developers. Okay, so we get some more plastic. It is a shame that a lot of developers specifically never make more than one game. Oh, she's got like wing things that she pulls out. Interesting. Uh, and so I believe this is this team's second game. I could be wrong. They, they could have actually done uh, more prior to Lena's inception. Um, but that... It's not uncommon for, like, a developer to make kind of their magnum opus game, but, you know, maybe not have the, uh, the marketing down or not, doesn't, they don't have the budget or the experience or anything like that. And so they don't actually get the, uh, get the chance to make another one. You know, that their first game is their last because game development is expensive and difficult and, uh, frustrating, I guess. And so... Uh, not everybody's cut out to make more than one game at a time. And so, one thing I've, or not at a time, but you know, more than, more than one game ever. Because the industry just kind of chews you up and spits you out. And kind of blows a little bit because I often find that like, the second game from any developer is leagues better than their first. Um, ooh. Kind of viper. I might actually want to go back into town just to see if I can buy things. But I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know if we have a currency system. I'm just seeing a couple of creature forms. I'm like, ah, oh, it'd almost be kind of worth it to actually pick up some of these. Oops. We should probably use battering ram and our special abilities just because. This was the Lena's Inception people. I Oh boy, it's going to be absolute egg on my face if I'm wrong. No, Byton Studio. It's absolutely them. Unless I'm like wildly wrong. Okay, now I have to double check. Byton Studio. Yeah. Lena's Inception. That was a 2020 game? Holy shit, my sense of time is skewed. Oh, let's just fight another one of these guys. I'm just trying to... I don't know, whenever I play RPGs, I'm like, oh, just master the combat system a little bit. And, uh, well, okay, maybe not master the combat system, but, you know, get a bunch of EXP so I have an easier time when, come to, when push comes to shove. Because, yeah, if I can one or two shot some of the basic critters, that makes my life easier. Um, 
But like, this game shows a very clear mastery that I don't think their previous game quite showed. Maybe that's maybe that's a bit dismissive, but like the quality uptick is so massive and the, the cleverness of the ideas and the the I mean, I think also part of it, I think Lena's Inception. Um let's see. So we have Bite, which is 80 power, hits one target, heals the user a bit afterwards, and then also provoke. Neat. So I guess every time they get a star they get a new move too. I like that well enough. Um, ooh, pig? Uh, we'll leave it for later. It's cute looking. All the critters so far have been quite a, quite adorable. Oh, we've got wood up over here. I think? Oh, really? I can't pick that up? That's a shame. Hopefully it'll be easier to get resources later. Okay, but yeah, let's actually rest now. Kaylee tells you about her various ventures, helping out the people of Harbor Town. Okay. Ooh, and is it nighttime now? Does that change the environmental vibe? It does. That's cool. Come on, it's this way. I can't fly like you can. There'll be no monsters about, or there'll be more monsters about, but we can take them. I haven't seen you around before, let me guess. You washed up pretty recently, didn't you? Oh, is that a cassette player holding? Here, take these. Rewind. Fully restores the HP of one tape, uses up a turn when used in combat. You can use those to rewind any monster tra tapes you have on the go. Stay f safe out there, okay? I was hoping you'd hand me a thing that uh, lets me catch other monsters. <sighs> there, do you see that monster? There must be a way to get it to come over here. See a switch with the lamp. Oop. Or we have a kind of angry traffic crab. Sure, why not? Uh, let's see. Do we do a sharpen? Actually, let's let's do the sharpen. Let's try calling for help. Failed. Shame. I wonder if we can boost the accuracy on that move. Maybe. Okay, so bite versus battering ram. Is there a reason not to just always use bite? Elemental wall. Walls absorb certain number of incoming hits. Type advantage attacks immediately break it. Oh, that's a problem. Okay, we have a spring heal. Sure. Okay. Yeah, that wall is kind of stinky. Oh, or it's gone. Yeah, I should have just attacked it right from the get-go, but whatever. Victory, the battle was won, we level up, get some more HP, get some more plastic. I wonder if five is the maximum number of stars. Okay. Take these. Basic tapes. Records monster forms with normal efficiency rate. There's something about the monsters of new are on New Whirl. When weakened, their essence can be well recorded onto cassette tapes. I don't entirely know how know how it works, but it does, and that's good enough for us. Dumbamoth. Okay. Use on that. Okay. Ow, my face. So we now have Dominoth. Dominoth see themselves as defenders of peace and spend their days patrolling the skies of woodland areas. The only thing that can distract them from their noble duties are bright lights, such as lamps. Various factors go into successful recording. How much health the monster has, its level and rarity, how much damage you dealt to it while recording, and how much damage the person recording it took. Using status effects to buff attacks that target the monster you're recording can be a very effective way to increase the damage and improve your odds. As long as the monster is being recorded, it cannot flee or be defeated, so you don't need to worry about knocking it out. Oh shit, that's great! Now try switching the tape you just recorded. 
Okay. Transform. And then Sonic Boom? Sonic Boom. That's how you get yourself new monster forms. However, if the monster takes too much damage, it'll flee. So you won't be able to record it. You with me so far? Now let's finish this bug off. Okay, so... Yeah, smack and nothing that helpful. Okay, battle is won, and we get Dominoth. Ooh, and a bunch, a uh, bunch of pulp and the wood. Uh, is this meant to happen? Some monster forms give us extra abilities when we record them, beyond just being able to take take their shapes. Don't panic. Mothwing Glide. You can now hold A to glide across long distances. This consumes your stamina. So well, that's why she can fly. Sorry, I probably should have warned you, but I thought it might be a little easier to show you. We can use this this glide to get across that gap right there. Okay, this is officially sick. Actually, probably one of the coolest demos that I'm going to play all day. What if we get like a double jump later? Do I want to record the snake? Maybe. Might. I don't know. It's kind of one of those where it's like tempting to gotta catch them all. Okay, not enough. And looks like there's a rock that I can break at some point too. Oh, we also have a switch. Oop. Oh. That's cool. Everything about this is cool so far. Huh? What's going on? Is this because of monster activity? We better stay sharp. Let's go. Okay, you felt that one, right? Oh, is it because I turned off screen shake? I might have. What? What is that? Was this always here? This isn't normal? I've never seen anything like this before. This has always been buried here? I... I don't know, I'm just getting like really solid N64 vibes from this. I don't know huh? why. Maybe like GameCube? Like there's something very like... Mid... Uh, late 90s, early 2000s... Nintendo about this game and every single aspect of it. Is this a train station? It should be okay to look around, right? And I, I know it's the visual style is like a huge part of that, but just something about the writing and the style and the music and and everything just gives me that vibe. This place smells like a like burning metal. I can't explain it. Okay. Oh, earth resistance. Passively reduces incoming earth type damage by 50% and negates any reactions that would occur. Does not affect critical hits. Interesting. Inventory. So basic tapes, I've got four. Party, self. Check tape, check snad hamwick. Use item. Consumables. So we have abilities. Looks like there's six total. And I'm an all-rounder. Interesting. The moves you have access to when using a tape in battle are determined by what stickers are attached to the tape. You can give new moves to a tape by applying stickers from your inventory. Moves you don't want can be peeled as stickers and put into your inventory. Stickers can be used as many times as you want, but can only ap be applied to a single tape at a time. Stickers can be obtained a few ways. Oh, that's interesting. Rename, unfavorite, use item, view and edit moves. Empty slot, apply sticker? We have no stickers. What's that earth thing? Inventory? Oh, it is a sticker. Now that's view and edit moves. So, I, I'm not sure how to equip passives at the moment. It probably isn't that big of a deal, but maybe it is. Hem Stanwick, can you feel something in the air? Kind of 
horror-y. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Is that you, Mordred? Come closer, child, so that I may see you one last time. This, this is, this is... The long conflict has drawn to an end. I'm afraid he has defeated me truly this time. Ems Nedwick, I think this is an archangel. We need to leave now. This isn't like the other monsters. We're not safe here. What happened to you? No, no, you are not my kin. You come for me once again, sword in hand. Oh, no. Archangel Morgante, Broken Spirit. Level 100, but very injured. Still not great. I think I sharpen. And call for help. Bernays. Ooh. He looks fun. And missed. Sick. Okay, we're not injured, but it does do more damage. Okay, raises the user's evasion? Sure. It looks like she's got plenty of AP. Burn characters take damage at the end of their turn. Ooh. Unlike other monsters that spend AP to use moves, Archangels accumulate all of their AP until it reaches 10. Once it reaches 10, it unleashes all that power in a unique angelic attack. To survive, use your moves strategically to either set up solid defense or defeat them before they get enough AP. Well, that's not great. Let's see, use on self. I don't know if we're going to beat this. I'm doing some damage. It ain't much. Please miss. Thank you. I'm not going to die here. Not like this. Do you hear me, Ham Snadwick? This isn't the end for us. It can't be. And now we fuse. Or, well, I refuse. Oh, is it because she said fuse? We're going to fight this thing and we're going to do it together. Ham Snadwick and Kaylee's hearts act as one. And now we are this thing, Banade. <laughs> when your goals are aligned with those of your companion, you can fuse to become a singular, more powerful beast. The closer you are to your companion, the more powerful you are as a fusion. Keep an eye on the fusion meter, though. You can only fuse when this is full. As a fusion, you gain 4 AP at each turn instead of 2, allowing you to make use of your pow more powerful moves sooner. I'll also have access to all the moves for both tapes combined, and your stats are added together. Sick. Okay, and I get four per, so, and we get our buffs. So, frankly, I think we're just going to start biting. I love this music. No, Bernays, come back. You're my friend. Okay, now, we have evasion for one more. Sonic Boom, Provoke. I think I'm just gonna have to go for the bite and hope for the best. Code Morgana. See if I lose. But the burn takes her out. Hell yeah. Okay, so we get Wallop. Oh, good! Our other tapes gain e EXP and stars and stuff. Fuse material, up grape. Curious bunch of upside down grapes said to grow from seeds plant on backwards day. Eating a bunch instantly upgrades a tape by one star. Ooh, rare candy. And some resources. I don't know why an angel had wheat, but that's okay. Uh... God, this game is sick. How did we? I don't know. Your stamina increased by 20%. You can now glide for three seconds. Enough. My time is drawing to an end. Why have you come to this wretched place? I want to go home. I see there is a way. There are none who know the path but I. I require a vessel and you require a guide. Rebuild my strength, and in turn I shall lead you from this land. Wait. Very well. Very well. Hear my song. <laughs> then our character becomes creepy as hell. If you wish to leave this land, then heed my words and hear my song. You must rise to the task at hand. You must walk the path most long. 
The rest of the song is too quiet to make out. <sighs> Em Stadwick, are you okay? What happened? You blanked out for a second there. We should get out of here. I don't like my character's motivations. Hmm. A lot happened to that train station. I guess we should probably talk about it. About the Archangel. Archangels. Supposedly when the first unlucky sods washed up on the shores of New Wirral, they thought the monsters here were angels. And some of them wrote of other entities too, greater than the others, creatures that look and feel wrong. Logically, they called these other creatures Archangels, the highest ranking among the Order of Angels. Of course, when people learned they could fight and defeat the regular monsters, they lost their angelic well. allure. They had a bunch of names over the years. Angels, demons, devils, ghouls. We just call them monsters now. It's a good catch-all uh. term. Those other creatures, though, like the one we fought, they're still archangels to us. We don't know what they are. No one's really seen one for a long time. Looking at that thing we fought, it's hard to explain. It felt like I wasn't viewing it correctly, like trying to watch a movie through binoculars or something. Oh, sorry, I'm making assumptions there. We're all from different worlds, after all. <laughs> you might not know what movies are. What are movies? Just kidding. <sighs> Ew, okay. Grand. I've been a new Weir Owl for three years, and I'm not... I still haven't completely learned to adjust my cultural differences when I talk to new folks. So about us fusing. <laughs> oh, yeah, that. Fusion is a rare phenomenon known by the rangers. There are fused monsters in the wild, so, and supposedly the leader of the rangers can do it too. In the right circumstances, two people in monster form are able to unite and form into one powerful being. I guess the right circumstances including a, include us nearly being killed by an archangel. It felt strange. In that moment, I was sharing a body with you, and the thing we became was both us and not us at the same time. I never fused with anyone before. I certainly wasn't expecting to fuse with someone I barely know. It kind of just happened in the heat of the Sorry. moment, right? Sorry, talking about it is a little awkward. We wouldn't have survived without yeah. it. Yeah, I guess you're right. Now that we've done it, I have this weird feeling inside me, like a door's been opened that I didn't even know was there before. I feel like I'd be able to fuse with you again if we ever needed to. Hmm. So, let me get this straight. That Archangel, Morgante, her memory is inside you now, and she knows a way to leave New Weir Owl. Oh, if there's a chance that this can lead to a way off this island and return the return people to their homes and families, we owe it to everyone on New Weir Owl to you find out. I. You and I. So what do you say, we're in this together? Let's do this. Fusion is now available in regular battles when partnered with Kaylee. Fusions you form with Kaylee now have 5% added strength. Building relationships with your friends is really important. The strength of your relationship directly affects how strong you are when fused together. You can get closer to someone by completing their quests and battling as alongside them. When the time is right, you can take a break at a campfire in a cafe to level up your relationship. If an archangel gave you that vision, then you need to find another one, and you need to be strong enough to stand against it when you do. The rangers have a training program that will help you become strong enough. Let's begin by getting you getting you a meeting with the ranger leader. She'll be at the outpost in the park right now. Okay, and we're good. What an incredible little game. And the demo keeps going, but I am going to be stopping us here. As much as I'd like to keep playing more, I think I'm going to have to leave that for hey. later. Don't make me tell you again. Harbor Town won't fall to you, bloodsuckers. So unreasonable. <sighs> Crawl back to the darkness you came from, or you'll have to go through me. I fought your kind before and won. Do you want a demonstration? Hmm. We shall leave for now. But in time, you shall understand that we know what's best for you all. Yeah. Tell the rest of your kind that this town is protected by Eugene. Let me know if those creeps bother you again, ma'am. And whatever you do, don't invite them into your house. That's what they Thank want. You. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you for intervening, young man. Hey. Oh, hey, sorry you had the to see that. Eugene. Which, I guess you know, because I just yelled it at those guys. I'm Ham Snadwick. Always nice to meet a new face around here, Ham Snadwick. Who are those people? Mm. I don't trouble you, trouble you with the details. They don't belong in this world. Let's just say not all of the monsters in New Weir Owl look like serial mascots. Anyway, I gotta go stake, stake out those guys. Can't risk them sinking their teeth into the good people of Harbor Town. Need some help? <laughs> if you're willing to get your hands dirty, I'd be glad to have you assist. Meet me at this location. I'll give you the full lowdown when you're there. And best behavior. Just prepare yourself for a throwdown. Things might get kind of ugly. This is the end of the demo. From both of us, both of us, at Byton Studio. We hope you enjoyed this little taster. You can continue the save file in the full version of the game. Holy shit, this is so good. 
I'm glad the demo ended there. That's a perfect time for it. Um, but yeah, I believe this is actually going to have uh, co-op of some variety. Uh, let's see. Let me double check. Yeah, it's shared and split screen co-op. So I think you get to, maybe the other player gets to control the other character. I don't think it matters that much, but on the flip side, I like the idea of having this be a couch co-op game uh, where, yeah, I could just play this with Shell if I wanted to. And I think that'd be pleasant. I know you could do that in uh, Lena's Inception as well, but frankly, this feels so much better just across the board. This is equal parts a kind of like a, a free-flowing, I, I want to say a free-flowing sandbox RPG. Obviously, you have a bunch of uh, you have a bunch of objectives, and I don't think the map is that huge. But at the same time, getting abilities like the float means you're going to spend an amount of time exploring uh, unfettered. You might need certain abilities to get places, but the fact that I ranked up and got like a, a longer float means that like maybe by the end of the game you really do just have all these traversal moves. And that sounds really cool to me. Uh, and maybe each character kind of introduces, uh, like all the companions introduce you to new moves. Or no, I got that from a monster, so I don't really know. Either way, super charming, absolutely lovely music, the visuals are great. Very retro in the best possible way. And I really like the monster designs. For two people to make this, I am nothing but impressed. Uh, Byton Studio has come a long way, and I'm glad they're making another game because Boy, if this is what they make for their second game, I can't imagine what they're going to make for their third. But, with all of that said, if you guys want to try this yourselves, the demo is available on Steam uh, today, uh, just as part of, part of the next fest. I don't know how long it's going to stick around, but I hope it sticks around long enough that a lot of you guys get the chance to play it. Or, maybe when it comes out, because there are, there are a lot of monster collection games out there. This is one of the first ones that really makes me interested in playing more. Most of them just kind of like, yeah, yeah, whatever. It's nice, but it's kind of more of the same. And this is like, oh, the fusion mechanics are cool. The different monster designs, I like them. And I like the world design. And I like the the core concept behind the world. All these people that have been kind of isekai'd against their will. I do, uh, do kind of disagree with them a little bit. You know, the idea of being isekai'd. And I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I'd just be cool with it. Like, obviously, I like my life. But it would be kind of cool to end up on an island where you can turn into monsters and collect them and stuff. I guess the main question would be, would I be able to bring Shell along? Because that would be kind of sad if getting Isekai'd separated us. That'd be that'd be a downer. Uh, and then I'd, then I'd maybe be rethinking things. Really what I'd be trying to do is figure out how to yoink her and bring her uh, to whatever Isekai'd place I'd end up in. I want to see the see that isekai story. Some dude gets isekai, but their special, uh, their significant other, is like left behind, and so their entire goal is to figure out how to kidnap them across dimensions so that they both can, you know, enjoy the isekai world instead. That's got to exist, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, so if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe because. Boy, there's a lot of them, and this year especially, they've been incredible. But with that, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.